Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello and welcome to Pop Turnative. As always, I'm your host, Peter Romoliotis. On social media, you know me as PD Beats. You'll recognize my guest from a show on HBO called Mayor of Easttown. Justin Hurt Dunkley is with us. Justin, welcome to Pop Turnative, man. Uh, thank you for having me. I mean, I'm excited to chat with you because I have to tell you, there's a lot of amazing shows on TV right now. This one is, like, for me, is in its own different category. I'm loving this so much, man. It is amazing. You know, classic whodunit, mystery, and everything in a small town. Um, But the miniseries, man, has really kind of, be, like, leveled up and grown over the years, too, right? Yeah, of course, of course. It's, um... I feel like they're just long movies, like six hour movies and the things that you couldn't kind of compact in a, a two hour film. They just let's go ahead and make a mini series. And, and, it, and it's been working. It's been doing well. So it's, it's great. And we're going to get into the show, obviously. But for you specifically, storytelling, acting, when did that kind of start for you, man? Yeah. So um, my mom got me in it like as, as a young child. She she kept me busy, man. Um she put me in saxophone <laughs> lessons, piano, tennis, swimming, karate, anything you could think of. Um, and I was always kind of like reenacting scenes and like, you know, uh, fanatical movies. And uh, she was taking me to plays and I wanted to go see like The Lion King, Risen in the Sun. And it was just like magic on stage. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm from a small town. I never met anyone trying to pursue acting or, or a meta actor. So I, I thought it like you had to kind of be chosen to, to kind of um, do things like this. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, but one thing about my, my mother, it can be impossible. She's going to try it. So <laughs> <laughs> we got together, kind of figured out like how to, how to kind of go about this. Got some headshots, got, got my own, got a little Asian and things I was going out for, I was booking. Um, and around this time, I'm like, high school when I was taking it seriously. Uh, yeah, I got like my first like TV gig and then she's an educator. So, you know, she's uh, adamant about getting a degree and everything. I went off to school and when I graduated is when I just took it full, full force. And, and the rest know. was history, right? History, man. Yeah. Well, it's funny. You say you grew up in a small town. We're going to go back to Mirror of East Town. I mean, that obviously is a small town. Um, You're in a show with an amazing cast and crew. What's it like, man, working with Kate Winslet, Guy Pierce, Evan Peters? It's crazy, man. What a stacked cast. Stacked, man. Uh, it, it's surreal. I'm, I'm still kind of, you know, feeling like, I mean, is this real? <laughs> like, like <laughs> it, 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 It's crazy. Um, You know, Kate Winslet being the star that she is and Guy Pierce, like, Memento was, like, one of my favorite movies. Um. And like Jane Smart, John Douglas Thompson, who's like a vet in theater, uh, Evan Peters, um, you know, so it, it is it is a stack cast. And then just kind of seeing everybody work and just being around them and, and being involved with this project for so long, it be kind of came like a family, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm I'm sitting there on set and chopping up with Kate Winsley, showing me pictures of her kids, like Bear came on set, you know, it was a uh, so it, it was it was dope, man. Absolutely. It's interesting because, you know. If, if someone asks you, like, hey, like, you're in Mayor of Easttown, like, what is it, right? You're going to be like, well, you know, it's a um, murder mystery whodunit miniseries, right. right? But what I love about this one is there's so many different characters and so many things happen. And they're able to, like, in one episode, introduce you to so many people. And then all these people somewhere are connected. It's crazy, Justin. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> and that goes to, like, um, you know, what we spoke uh, speaking about, like, the small towns. Cause yeah. Those small towns, everybody kind of knows everybody. You can't go to the store. You can't, you know, just go outside and not see somebody that you know. You know, from high school, from middle school, or, you know, somewhere down the line. So, yeah. you 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 have some scenes specifically with Kate Winslet in the show. What what was what was it like kind of working with her learning experience wise, man? Um, yeah, just it was it was dope, man. I mean, because Kate is just just a force. Yeah. Um, she was like. Just watching her, I, one thing I learned too was just like stamina. Like yeah. it was when we came back from um, the hiatus that we had, like the, from, from the pandemic. You know, some days like we were working like six, six, um, six days out the week. Sometimes even seven. Well, she was. Yeah. So just kind of like seeing her and like knowing that she's been working so long and still be kind of refreshed. Like she didn't just you know spend all these hours working and then also being an EP on the project. Um, 
having not just acting like as our focus she's worried about um you know how, how's the scene kind of moving and like going to get approval from like brad the writer for like you know different tweaks and things they might have so seeing that was um really inspiring and then like the philadelphia accent is a tough accent yeah for an, for an american right <laughs> and just seeing her hop in and out of it you know hopping in that philadelphia accent and then hopping back to like you know like because sometimes you'll forget that she's that she's british um and then yeah man so it, it's just fine like that i gotta work on my accents <laughs> have you had a chance to and i always ask this question because i don't want to assume because have you had a chance like have you watched some of the episodes of of the show yeah yeah, i did I some did, people yeah. man, like i've asked questions in the past i'm like yeah so how like what was it like like how do you how did you enjoy it or something like that and then like someone on the show was just like well I haven't watched it yet but I hear good things and I'm kind of like okay well my talking <laughs> points are like thrown out the window now um but is it kind of in a good way like weird in a good way that like you're going you're like filming the scenes and then you watch it and then like like what's that like like that's always um, a weird kind of crazy feeling too right absolutely yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's much more comfortable me watching the scenes that I'm not in and like, just kind of like <laughs> so, even though I know what's happening and like, I mean, you know, I, I, I know what goes down, but um, yeah, it's a lot more comfortable, but I had too many people on me like, yo, like I want to watch it with you or like, they just want to see it and kind of be in there. So, you know, I just threw it on. It's interesting because TV, like we're in like the golden age of television right now, Justin, like the amount of shows, it's insane. Like so many good shows, so many good yeah. miniseries. And there's the binge culture too, right? A lot of networks and a lot of streaming services are like dropping all of them and like people can watch them all. But there's still kind of the traditional week to week, which is what your show, Mayor of Easttown, is doing, right? And yeah. I feel like that, like this show is good for that because the hype it's creating week after week rather than just kind of throwing all at you once you do it in one weekend like it's more yeah. memorable that way do you what do you think about that i i, I like it yeah. I'm, I'm actually a binge like person i like watching everything <laughs> all at once but no but this story how it is and how they kind of play it out i agree like i, I like the the week to week basis because it's kind of like more of a slow burn and like keep everybody on the same page um well um same kind of uh speed with you know this this uh this mystery and kind of figure out who 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 is doing it and um yeah it just kind of takes you on a ride I I like I like how it's stretched out like that I wanted to touch base quickly about your character specifically because you know we see you in episode one as well you're you know a new officer on the force working with Kate Winslet and everyone and I find it interesting because cop or not the the whole idea of being new to work or being new to a certain situation is very interesting and I feel like that that's an interesting role to play Justin because you're coming in kind of as this outsider right like you're thrown yeah. in kind of is that interesting to play as an actor like someone like that yeah absolutely and and it was cool kind of like because that's what it was uh <laughs> as an actor as well <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, like so when yeah you're introduced to me, that's that's my first day on the forces. Um, you know I'm I'm new to this police department. Everybody's been there for so long. Um, and yeah, I I had a hell of a first day. <laughs> I had the fear that uh that it was exposed that I didn't think I was gonna have to um have to deal with or, or explain you know so so early in in my career um as a cop and then just being thrown in this uh in this place where you know we this this body has gone missing and yeah. the the uproar about it has resurfaced and then a second body happens um that turns up missing and which is rare in such a small town like this also because like they're not really pre-equipped for these type of cases and like you'll see like east town like the police station i mean it consists of like maybe like 18 25 like sworn officers opposed to like maybe a major city like philadelphia who has like six thousand plus yeah it's very you know, small like, tight knit absolutely so it's it's a lot like it's, it hits hard um being in such a small town because i find it i find it interesting too from you your perspective like this role right like there's a lot more to kind of unravel rather than you're playing a cop on a force right you're playing a cop a new cop on a force in a small town where like you said there aren't as many officers like i feel like any like is it does it excite you when you're kind of discovering like any any project you're on like kind of mm -hmm. like unraveling and opening up that role like a bot like a present almost kind of like digging in that's a fun thing about acting too right absolutely because like any role like you said like it's a discovery yeah. um 
And with this, it was like, I had a lot more leeway. Like we had a police tech on, on set and like, you know, before shooting, but um, I had like a lot of leeway because a lot of the officers I was speaking to, you go through the academy, you know, um, for all this time and you know these things, but when you're actually um, put to do it, like you actually get that call, a lot of it goes out the window and like, you just, you know, you kind of forget. So it was kind of cool. It was playing, it was cool um, playing those two. There's a lot. Like, we just got to talk about the writing of this show, man. It's just amazing. Like, it's, like we said, you know, we talked before also. It's just the amount of, like, dialogue and things that you discover. And I'm a big, I'm a big fan of the, of the like, the conversation. And there's a lot of conversations that happen right. in this show, in each episode. And there, it's kind of almost like one of those, like, wait a second. Why did that person say that? what's going on here and it's like subtle do you know what i mean by that it's not obvious right 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 that's um that's brad man he's just such a phenomenal writer um and like like i said like i i read the whole thing in one sitting i couldn't stop um i could not stop and i love how he just his, his dialogue and then how he just his the characters that he creates is everybody has their story and like it's just layers and then you think you're done here but it just continues to go on and it's it's yeah it's, 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 it's and that's an interesting kind of to add to that interesting segue to my next question i mean you're an act justin hurt dunkley is an actor you're kind of focusing on that craft right now but naturally a lot of people gravitate towards wearing many hats in the entertainment industry you know they write mm -hmm. they produce they go behind the camera as well justin have you yeah. thought about that down the road like maybe you want to experiment experiment that like maybe acting is kind of the main thing but have you thought about like behind the camera as well stuff justin absolutely so yeah acting will always be the focus that's my passion but um but yeah like I, i've i've had my hand in um you know producing and i want to get into directing as well mm -hmm. uh so yeah, and I and I have like a team that I, I work with, and like you know we'll do shorts and we'll do features, and some we'll release, some we won't. Um, but yeah, just really uh, sharpening that craft, like in you know all aspects of you know, acting and directing and producing. And yeah, the obvious answer to this question is you hope people kind of enjoy it. They're curious, they're interested, they watch it week to week, they recommend it to their family and friends. Diving deep into it a little bit more, when people watch Mayor of Easttown, what are you hoping they get out of it? Um. Well, yeah, I a lot of the characters in it, they have their own thing going on. Yeah. Like Mayor, she has a lot that she's dealing with. Uh Zabel has his own kind of things he's dealing with, the uh, Freddy, all these characters. So I would I would just say just have compassion and sympathy for people. Yeah. You never know what someone else is going through. Yeah. Um, so yeah. There's a and lot then, going on. Like a lot going on. <laughs> there's and, uh, there there was a term, I don't know if you ever heard this before. Have you ever heard of the the term like you're not that important type thing? Yes. <laughs> Literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? And, and too many people fare that way, like, because yeah. yeah. there's so much going on, right? Like, you might see mm -hmm. someone. I remember going to see, you know, Nick Offerman from Parks and Rec do a uh, stand-up comedy and talking about how, like, there was a rude person at like a uh, fast food restaurant, right? And he's like, "You never know. That person's probably having like the worst day ever. Like, it has nothing to do with you." <laughs> exactly, it has nothing to do with you. <laughs> It is crazy. Justin, thank you so much for coming on Pop Turative, man. I really appreciate it, dude. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So HBO, Sundays, 10 p.m. Eastern, Mayor of Easttown. And like you said, we're just getting started, right, man? Started, man. <laughs> just getting started. I crave every week to see what's <laughs> happening. <laughs> and they're throwing so many things at us, man. So much, man. And like I see, just getting started. Like it's it's a ride. It's a ride. Um, and where can people follow you on social media to keep updated with everything? Yeah, everything is at Justin Hurt Dunkley. So Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. You can Amazing. Follow. Well, this has been Pop Turnative, YouTube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. You can catch Justin and the, the rest of the amazing cast in the miniseries Mayor of Easttown, which is on Sunday nights on HBO at 10 p.m. Eastern. Until next time, this is Justin Hurt Dunkley and sure. PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.